Dear students, we were discussing page layout ribbon and today we will be focusing on the last module in this category of page layout ribbon and we will explore arrange group available in page layout ribbon. So in arrange group we have these options available like position, wrap text, bring forward, set backward, selection pane, align group and rotate. So let's start the practical. So we are on the same document on which we were working previously and we are on the page layout ribbon. We have discussed page setup group, paragraph group in the last modules and today we will be focusing on arrange group. So in arrange group we have the position, wrap text, bring forward, backward etc different options available. And all of those options will become active at the moment they are deactivated. They will become active when we have certain kind of shapes available on this document, which we want to place within the document using the position, wrap text and other options. So let's have few shapes. So go into insert and insert few shapes. For example, this is one of the shape and let's have the format shape option fill no fill so that it remained like this and then we can solid line and maybe we can just pick it a little bit more thicker so that it is visible and then we have another shape like this one and again click on the right mouse button format shape option no fill line solid and a little bit more thicker so if you select this and here is the content which is being written already so if you go into page layout and position so i want to uh, set the position of this shape like this one this is in top left corner this is in the middle, this is in the right side, this is in the middle left, this is in the middle and center. So you can see like this one. And I can also try to explore further by set backward. So this is the shape which we have available over here. And uh, then we have, for example, this is another shape, which for example, you can put over here. And then you can also make the position like this one, this one. So wherever you want. So this is the position. So normally when we are placing things within the text, so we normally go with the inline with text. So this means that this will be within the text and it will not make problems for your text then we have wrap text like how you want to wrap the text around this figure so for example if i select over here so i say let's try to select this one and say wrap text top and bottom behind the text so it is not visible in front of text added wrap points secure tight etc so all such things are available under wrap text and then we have the next option available that is so for example if we have these two figures so we want at the moment this is on the front and that is on the back side so if we want to make this figure at the back side so you can just go over here and set backward or bring forward so these are different options which you can select like this one so you can say go to back and bring to front etc and then there is another option available as selection pane so the selection pane is an option 
So when you have number of figures available on your document and you cannot select those figures, sometimes they are on the background and not visible. So in such a case, you can use selection pane. So it will give you all of the figures available. For example, if you click on it, so it will be selected. If you click on it, it will be selected. Show all, hide all. So this one, this one, so you can even hide, right? So then we have such things available. Then we can also go with the align. So for example, if I select these two and I say, okay, align. So if I say align left, so they are aligned from the left side. Similarly, you can select align top, so they are aligned from the top side, etc. And then you can also group these two figures as well. So if I group these two figures, so they will become one particular figure. They belong to the same group. So for example, if I click on it and ungroup, so I can ungroup the figure. So then I am able to move the figures individually. Otherwise, if they are grouped together, then we cannot move figure individually. And then the last thing is the rotate. So rotate 90 degree, rotate flip vertically, horizontally, etc. So it's better to write something. For example, if I add something virtual university so the content is not be seen so now you can see that i have such an option available and then like this one so now if i go over here and rotate so it would be better to see that flip horizontally vertically rotate 90 angle rotate right wise and so on so these are all the options available in the arrange group under page layout ribbon so dear students today we have discussed the arrange group and the topic we have covered position wrap text spring forward send backward selection pane align group and rotate so here we have uh, finished the page layout ribbon uh, in microsoft word